Hey there everyone, this is Vibar Rajat from Reno Studio. So one of the very important key traits of a professional software developer is how efficiently can he write a highly decoupled software. So in today's video, let's talk about what this decoupling is and how you can write decoupled software. So okay. right off the bat, let me establish one thing that writing a highly coupled system where components are dependent on each other is highly frowned upon in software development industry. So when you are writing some sort of professional code, it is expected of you to write the software in a loosely coupled way where components are not strictly tied to each other. So let's drill down to the very basics of what coupling is and how to write this decoupled software. So let me try to give you a proper example with which you can understand what coupling is. So let's suppose you are building a web application. Now in that web application, you have to store some data and fetch it later on. Now for this use case, you are going to require some sort of database. And based on your research or your professional expertise when any of the databases that are out there, you pick one, right? And you write the entire web application, which is very much dependent upon that one particular database. So let's suppose after one, two years of development or, you know, running the product, your product designers or your product manager thinks that this particular database, which they have employed to build the initial system is not serving their purpose anymore and they need to switch to some other database. But now comes the problem that your software uses the internals of this database, the explicit commands which are highly specific to this particular database. So now you need to rewrite the entire software so as to make it work with the newer database which you want to use now. So this is an example of a highly coupled system, right? Where your application is coupled to the database where your application is very much dependent upon the database. So in your function calls, in your controllers, you have written some commands to insert and update the database and those commands are highly specific to that one particular database which you have employed in the initial version of your application. Now you need to replace all of those commands with some equivalent commands which are as per these newer database which you are trying to use now. Okay, so this is an example of a highly coupled system. So this is something which you should strive for to not write coupled system where components are so heavily dependent upon each other. So how can you write a decoupled system? So there are certain concepts which you can use. So let's suppose you are creating a web application where you need to use some sort of database, but still you want your application to be database agnostic. So in that case, you can use concepts like ORM, which are object relational model. Now these ORM are some sort of intermediate or you can say intermediary, which can interface with any or many of the databases that are out there. You just have to use the functions to operate on the data those functions are provided by the ORM itself. So that way you shield yourself from the internals of the database you are using. You are just using some API methods from this thing known as ORM. The other way you can write a highly decoupled software is to write some sort of abstraction layer on your own. So let's suppose for example, you are consuming some API which is used for creating some compressed version of the uploaded display picture of the user. So in that case, you can write some sort of abstraction layer and in that abstraction layer, you are going to write some API methods which you are going to use in your main program. So let's suppose you want to use some other such service uh, down the line in future, but this service is totally different from the service you used in the first version. So in that case, you just have to change this abstraction layer which you have coded. You do not have to go in your main program and edit all the files in order to consume this new thing. So these are some techniques which you can use to write highly decoupled software. Also make sure that you go through 
what you have written a couple of times to understand whether there is some way you can extract some sort of APIs out which can help you in writing and changing things up without worrying too much about if it's going to break something or not. So this is everything I wanted to talk about writing highly decoupled software and this is a skill you can build over time and you have to write a lot of softwares in order to build this skill and in order to spot an anti pattern where some things or some abstractions can be built. So having said that we have reached the conclusion of this video now on this channel we talk about software engineering, software development, computer science fundamentals and everything related to this ecosystem and also about app development. So in case you are interested in any of those things make sure you subscribe to this channel and I see you guys over in the next video.